Beth Napley. I'm a homeschooling mom of five girls. My oldest daughter is 17. My youngest is seven, and we've been homeschooling for quite a long time. And in that time, our homeschool has really evolved into a digital learning environment with a lot of online courses and resources. So I blog about that and all the geeky, cool web tools I find over at Techie Homeschool Mom. And I also um, run this almost daily live broadcast called Tech in Your Homeschool, where I share some things that I have found or that even some things that I've created. I create online unit studies and I've also now officially started creating Techie Homeschool Clubs. Okay, how the clubs work is just like if you had maybe a co-op that you go to, which is kind of like a club, but it's a bunch of different clubs, a bunch of different classes together, you'd probably have or possibly have some kind of textbook or additional resource that you would go through and then the kids would do activities or that sort of thing. Same concept, except the kids are going to be going through an online course about photography. So I found this great course for my kids, seemed lots of fun. They had expressed interest in learning how to take better pictures, which is really important in our age, you know, this age that's so visual this, these days with all the social media, Instagram, and all that. So the kids express interest. I found this great course, and I thought, wow, this would be a lot of fun to do with other families. And so I started thinking about my local friends that we could go off, because the kids do these photo adventures. And then I realized, you know what, I don't need to limit this to our local friends. This could be an online thing. And I've been forming lots of great online relationships since I've been blogging. And my kids have asked, can we have some online friends too? So, that, okay, this is a great opportunity to develop a community, have the kids connect with some of the kids of the people I've been connecting with, and new friends also, if I really haven't connected with you before. And they'll also be learning about photography. And so how the, the course that we're going to be going through, which is called um, Photography for Kids, how it works is the kid, he first teaches the kids about how to take good pictures, the history of the camera, and then they have these weekly photo adventures. And then in the videos in the course, the guy had his little brother with him who went and he showed him taking the pictures and things. And then the instructor would review these photos and tell his brother what worked, what didn't work, what he might want to try in the future. And so that's going to be integrated in with the club where the kids will upload the photos that they're taking and then other kids will leave them feedback and I'm giving suggestions on how to leave positive feedback and have this be a good experience for everybody. So the kids will leave their, um, their photos and get the reviews. And then I got the even brighter idea that I could um, teach how, the kids how to do some projects related to their photos. So you know that I'm into the web tools, that, you know, it's a great learning resource, the kids making presentations and animated videos and all that to share what they're learning. So I'm going to, within this course, and about four or five times, I will be doing tutorials for the kids on projects related to the photos that they're taking. So for example, and, and I'll tell you right now, that the projects they're going to be doing, unless I change my mind as I'm working through or add more, but um, they'll be doing a photo filter collection where they'll take one picture and then they'll use a web tool called PicMonkey, and they will apply the different filters and see how they can change their image with photo editing tools. They will also um, create something, probably a collage of their photos in Canva, which you could also do in PicMonkey, but I want to expose the kids to different web tools. They will create an animated video for the A to Z photo of a hunt. They will actually create an animated video using a program called Animaker. And then we're going to have a collaborative project using Amaze, which is a presentation software, where, um, so one of the lessons is for the kids to be photojournalists, where they take a picture and then write a story about their picture. And so that's going to end up being a collaborative project, I think. I, I still need to get all the kinks work with that, um, worked out with that, where the kids will each contribute a page to this storybook that we'll create 
as a whole group. And then the final project, if you choose to do it, is to have the kids um, create a photo journal where they'll take, you know, some of their favorite photos that they've taken through the course and then des actually design a photo book that you can end up printing out, one of those ones that you can then get bound and have sent to you so they have that tangible copy of what they've done when they're finished. So that is the Techie Homeschool Photography Club. I hope you will join. It's not going to be much of a club if it's just my family. I mean, we'll still have a great time with it, but I would love other families to join with us. Um, the cost of the course, I've gotten a special discount code for club members, and so it's just $20. That is the cost for uh, the photography photography for kids course so you got to buy that separate than your club membership and then for the club fees or dues or whatever you want to call it that is thirty dollars however I've got it marked down now through Sunday to just twenty dollars and what those costs cover is access into the private group where I'll be teaching the tutorials on how to do the digital projects and those are skills that the kids will gain that they can then use in other things as well. So um, so overall, when you put those two together right now this week, it's only $40 for you to be part of the Techie Homeschool Photography Club, and that's per family. So you can have as many kids participate as you want, and then you'll have access to both those things forever. Um, and that's for 12 weeks worth of photo adventures and instruction and community, safe community with other homeschooling families. So I'm going to show you a little bit inside of it. Um, I'm still working on setting it all up, but I want to get going. So to find it to buy, you just come to my website, Techie Homeschool Mom, and click on this image over here, and it will take you to this page where you will purchase the Techie Homeschool Photography Club. But note, to participate, you also need to uh, purchase photography for kids. So after you purchase your club membership, you'll get an email from me with the link to get the photography for kids, or you could even just click the link right there. And that will take you to Udemy, where you will uh, log in <laughs> and actually um, go ahead and purchase the course as well. So after you do that, I will go ahead and add you. I have to manually add you into the club, so give me about 24 hours for that. And then you just need, in the future, just need to click over here on My Techie Homeschool Clubs, and you will see all of, right now it's just one, but you'll see the club that you are enrolled in. So you just come here, click on the club, and it will open up the group and you just always click continue to get to the lesson that you're on. What you're going to do once you get in here, hi, thanks for stopping in. Um, once you get here, these are the different lessons. So you'll start with the introduction. I'll have a project schedule. It's not up yet, but I will have that up soon. We're actually starting the adventures in a couple weeks, so the week of October 3rd. So if you kind of want to keep up with the program, you want to do one adventure week. I'll, um, you can click here to see what supplies you need. Once again, have a link to the course to enroll in. And then I'm going to have a section here for member introductions. So when your family joins in, I'd like the, um, you to take have the kids introduce themselves and leave a selfie of themselves. And so the kids can kind of make connections, if you're comfortable with that, whatever you're most comfortable with. When you finish each of these um, second sections, you just click Mark Complete. And then I have some instructions to get started. Before October 3rd, it's going to be especially beneficial if you actually um, have the kids go through the introduction of the Photography for Kids course. And then we get started on the photo adventures. So in Photography for Kids, let me go ahead. I thought I had this up. Photography for Kids course. And I'll leave you the links like in this here for the video lessons. I'll tell you, you know, watch Project One, Household Items, and Photography for Kids. So you could just click here um, to get over to Udemy to that course that you purchased. And then, um, in fact, I'll just do that right here. And so you would go ahead and do the lesson. 
or, or watch the video, and they're usually, they're less than 10 minutes or so um, on Udemy about this lesson on uh, taking the photos of your household items. And so then you'd go on your adventure, you know, do it that day, have the kids do it around the house or, or whatever um, you want to do. And then you go back to your club, and I have some instructions for you. So, so for example, in this one, the kids are going to be learning about storing photos, you know, thinking about, okay, what am I going to do with these pictures after I take them? Am I just going to keep them on my camera or I'm going to organize them? And so I encourage them to transfer them to storage. Um, site and like a cloud storage and delete them off the camera so those are good techie skills and attitudes for the kids to have and then choose one or two pictures that they're going to share down in the comments here so they can just choose file upload it and post it to the comments and then I have instructions for them to go and choose at least four images from other kids, other club members, and to leave some feedback for them. So they're not only are our kids going to be taking the pictures and analyzing their own, but they're also analyzing others and learning how to be a good critiquer. And so we're going to be using the tag method for that, where the kids are going to T, tell the photographer something they liked, and I give some ideas of how to start those phrases. A, to ask the photographer a question as a way to suggest an improvement for them, and G, to give the photographer a positive suggestion, using phrases like, next time you might want to, or I think you could improve this by, and I'm hoping moms that you'll jump in with this and help the kids, you know, be kind and all that with it. So um, that's how the lessons will work, and then every few lessons, like I was saying, you will also then, and I don't have these made yet, but I will in time. You'll also get to um, a lesson where there's the digital project. So the first one will be the photo filter collection where the kids will use PicMonkey and they'll take one image and they'll just play around with it on changing the filters and deciding what do I like? Oh, this looks cool. This doesn't. This is a filter I like. This is one I don't like. And just for them to get start working on photo editing and realizing the difference that it can make with the pictures. So, um, so I'll actually, in your course outline, after you do your video lesson and your photo review, you'll have a video tutorial on how to do the, fil the um, project and then a way to share what you create. Once again, in the comments, the kids can share what they actually created. So, in a long nutshell, a really big nutshell, <laughs> that is the Techie Homeschool Photography Club. So like I said, if you come to my website, Techie Homeschool Mom, and just scroll down here on the right and click the this uh, image right there, you will go to the page where you can purchase um, your club fee, membership, whatever. And then you'll also then get the link to go to Udemy to get the photography for kids course there.